Hey there, tonight we're going to have another homework helper. I'm really excited about this because tonight we're going to start multiplication and we're going to use grouping and repeated addition. So come on and join us. Did you know making equal groups will allow me to count faster? Notice I can count two, four, six. That is much faster than counting one at a time. Did you know multiplication is a faster way to add equal groups? Take a look at what I have here. Three times seven equals 21. That's the same as saying one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups, seven groups of three is 21. I just added three seven times. Isn't that cool? How many dogs do you see? Now, before you start counting, is there a faster way to count them all up? Notice, if I group them, I have now put this in a group of four. If I group this group, I have a group of four. If I put this in another group, I have a group of four. Putting what you want into equal groups helps us to add faster. So notice here that I have four plus four plus four, and when I count all those up, that gives me 12. Notice how this is related to multiplication. A multiplication sentence that shows this is having three groups, so you have one, two, three, of four in each, which is really three times four is 12. So you can see how they're related. How many total dogs do you see now? I've changed them, by the way. First of all, is there a faster way to count them all up? Well, this time, I think I'm gonna group them in groups of three. So I have three right here. I have another three right there. I have three right there. And I have an additional three right here. Now, putting what you want into equal groups, which is that, that's what we did. We put them into groups of three, helps us add faster. Notice this time I have three plus three plus three plus three, which is four groups of three. And that gives me 12. Look at my multiplication sentence. Four times three is 12. Do you remember the last slide we had? We had three times four is 12. Because you can take those two numbers, four times three is gonna equal 12, and three times four is gonna equal 12. Kind of like when we were working with addition and we said two plus five is seven and five plus two is seven. We can mix them up. And that's perfectly fine in multiplication as well. How many total dots do you see? All right, this time I'm gonna take it a little bit different. This time I'm actually gonna count the dots. So I see I have, and I'm gonna mark on them so you see that I counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I know I have 12 here, and I know these are going to be equal dots in each of the circles. So I know there must be 12 here, and there's gonna be 12 here. All right, what addition sentence could we write that's gonna show three groups of 12. I could say 12 plus 12 plus 12. And then of course, I'm gonna to have to answer that. And if I counted all those dots up, I would get 36. Now, can I write a multiplication sentence that matches this? Well, I had three groups. So I'm gonna say three. And inside each of those groups, I had 12. So I'm gonna say 12. 3 times 12, and when I counted all of those dots, I get 36. So I have three groups of 12 right over here. Remember I had, here's a group, here's a group, here's a group. Three groups of 12 is going to give me 36. So I can do an adding sentence and a multiplication sentence just by grouping. Let's try another one. How many total dots do you see? I would like for you to try this. Count your dots. I want you to write an adding sentence, and then I want you to write a multiplication sentence. Pause it, come on back, and we'll check it. Okay, I hope you did that. First of all, I hope that you counted your dots. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I changed a blue so it's harder to see. I have eight there. I can see I have eight here, I have eight here, and I have eight there. So if I needed an addition sentence, I was going to have eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, and all of that would equal 32. If I were writing a multiplication sentence to go with it, 
would say I have four groups with eight inside, and that gives me the answer 32. How'd you do? I hope you did well. All right, let's try another one. All right, you're going to write an addition sentence, and you're going to write that multiplication sentence to match it. Come back and we'll check it. Okay, did you count up your dots? Hopefully you did. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there's six there. I can see I have six here, I have six here, I have six here, I have six here, and I have six here. That's a lot of sixes. All right, what kind of addition sentence can we write? I'm going to have, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six plus six plus six plus six, that's four of them, plus six, not done yet, that's five, plus six, that's six of them. And if I add all those dots up, then I would have gotten 36. And the multiplication sentence that I could write for this one would be six times six equals 36. Did you get that? I hope so. All right, now we're gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna model this one and then I'm gonna let you try the next one on your own. This one says, can you make groups to show eight times five equals, and we don't know yet. And then it says, can you write an addition sentence to match it? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and make my eight groups. There's one, two, three, four, five. And now looking at them, I wish I'd made them a little larger. I need, oh, five, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight groups because that's my first number. Now I'm gonna stick five, I'm gonna use X's. I'm gonna stick five X's in each one of them. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Three, four, five. All right. Can I write an addition sentence to match it? Well, let's see. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need five plus five plus five. That's three of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And in this case, I could count by fives to figure them out, or I could count all my X's as well. I already know that five times eight or eight times five is going to be 40. All right, I want you to try the next one. All right, you're gonna have to make groups to show nine plus nine plus nine. You're gonna have to figure out what the answer is, and then you're gonna have to write a multiplication sentence to match it. So pause it, try it, and come on back. Okay. This time you had to make groups to show nine plus nine plus nine. I can see here that I have three groups. So I'm gonna have to start, and this time I'm gonna make some large circles. One, two, three. And inside each of those, I'm gonna have to put nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, that's making my groups, but I'm gonna have to figure out what this is, and I need to write a multiplication sentence. So I could say, well, you know what? I have three groups, and inside there, I have nine X's each, and if I were to count those all up, I would have 27, and that's my answer. 27 is my multiplication sentence, and that's actually what's missing with my 9 plus 9 plus 9 equals. It would be 27. All right. You are awesome. Keep stretching your brain and trying hard things, and we're going to keep on working on multiplication. Bye for now.